You're now my co-host on The Five and co-anchor of America's Newsroom, Dana Perino, and Fox News contributor Mark Thiessen. I love saying Thiessen. <laughs> it now looks as if RFK Dana is going to make a big announcement on Friday. Everybody now kind of thinks he may endorse Trump, possibly in exchange for a cabinet position. In a race this tight, you think the Democrats are worried? Well, I think that RFK was at about nine points before Biden dropped out. So anywhere where he was on the ballot, or if you do like a national poll, he was about nine points. It's not insignificant. But when, once Biden dropped out, he went to four points. But what, that, why that matters and why Trump would want this endorsement is because he's, um, if he's at 4 percent and he helps Trump just a little bit, if these states are as close as we think they're going to be, that little bit could make the difference. I wouldn't promise him a cabinet position. No. I would, would not. You would dangle it. Yeah, you could say, you know what, we'll talk, we'll talk about it. Right. I wouldn't promise okay. it. An ambassadorship, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's symbolically the forces of the Trump and the Kennedy brands coming together. What does that represent to you? Um, well, it represents actually an opportunity for the Democrats right now because Joe, RFK, the threat that he posed to the Democrats was that Democrats and independents who were unhappy with Harris and Biden had a place to go that was not Trump. Right. So if you could, if you don't like this administration, but you do, can't bring yourself to vote for Donald Trump, there was an option on the on the ballot today. And if he gets out of the race, how many of those people are actually going to go and vote for Trump if the reason they were supporting him was because they didn't want to vote for Trump, but they didn't want to vote for these guys? So I think in a way, him getting out of the race hurts Trump rather than helps. That's a smart answer, but I don't like it, Tisa. <laughs> <laughs> Dana Perino, we're going to hear from Bill Clinton tonight. Does Bubba still have it? Does he still have the smoke? So I was thinking about this. So 1992, Bush 41 versus Clinton was the first election I ever voted in. And so he certainly stood the test of time. And if you think about, like, we, we didn't have conventions in 2020. A lot of people here, they haven't seen each other in eight years. And they haven't seen Bill Clinton in quite a while. I think everyone's sort of like, how's he doing? Because... We know that he had had health problems before. He decided to go on an extreme diet, and he's been healthy. So he's here to try to figure out a way that to help the woman be elected to the presidency because they were not successful getting Hillary Clinton elected in 2016. Decent. Nancy <laughs> Pelosi, she was doing a book tour last week when the whole coup thing exploded. Now she's here. Everybody keeps asking her about why'd you do it? How'd you do it? What happened? Are you talking to Joe Biden? She's getting hit again. Listen to this. Have you talked I to him? Is to my only what I have to do. Right. He made the decision for the country. My concern was not about the president. It was about his campaign. Are we ever going to find out exactly what happened and who was saying what to who? Oh, once it's over, especially if, if they win the election, she'll be taking credit. Uh, they, they we'll get all the books uh, coming out and telling us the whole story. Look, she's basically if, telling. If, if, he, they do, if he doesn't win, you are going to hear from a lot of people that work for Joe Biden. Yes. We're going to say true. we told them. You're Vindicated. right. And then she Vindicated. is the evil woman there. And they'll blame the Obamas. Right. Because the Obamas are the ones who pushed him off the ballot and put Hillary Clinton on the ballot in 2016. There is a lot. And riding on this election <laughs> yeah. for a lot of Democrats who aren't even involved. That is their, very their true. Their credibility is really on the line, like Mark said here. That's right. Very and true. also you will have, I mean, we've talked a little bit about it, that there's a little bit of animosity, like they're trying to show, put on a good face right now, but there's frustration and anger. And I would say, though, that for everybody in this room, when Joe Biden left on Monday night, they're like, bye. Totally yeah. different they're vibe. Fine. Yeah. The vibe has shifted so much from Monday to Tuesday. We'll see how it is with Stevie Wonder. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to Stevie Who Wonder. else do we have? I'm, there's someone that we have that I can't say. There's really? Fargo. <laughs> I'm supposed to give you this from Sean Hannity. It's so that you can tip more tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Sean is the greatest tipper I've ever witnessed. Yep. And and last night, Barack Obama said, eh, Republicans are stingy, not very generous. All right. I'd like to see Barack tip like Sean. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Thank you guys very much. Thanks for having us. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.